Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the learning platform Quick Start. I've talked about these guys before, but in today's video, we're going to give a quick deep dive into their learning platform. It's also important to note that this video is sponsored by Quick Start. So make sure you guys check out the link in the description below and see what they're all about. But with that being said, let's jump right into this video and start talking about their platform. So when we go to quickstart.com, here is our main page that we come across, achieve career growth and workforce readiness. That is one of their key terms here that I want you guys to pay attention to because the platform really strives itself off of building the knowledge and the skills that it takes to be in the workforce. They're getting you prepared to be in job roles. So the entirety of this platform really builds their content around getting you prepared for an IT career. Before we jump into the backside of the platform, this is great for individuals or for teams. For the individuals, which are majority of my audience out there, you guys can sign up for a seven day free trial, which is extremely important. I always tell you guys, make sure you try the free trials as much as you can and see how much you enjoy these platforms that I talk about. As you guys can see here, they are authorized learning partners with such places as Microsoft, ITIL, Cisco, Oracle, and EC Council, and many more here. So they definitely have great content that is specifically geared towards these top end certifications that I've talked about many times before. They also have their courses organized by roles and functions. So they have information security, IT services management, DevOps, cloud, big data, data science, application development, business and productivity, and then they have it uh, separated by technologies as well. So we have CompTIA here, we have Cisco, we have Microsoft, we have NetApp, and then of course we have other technologies that we, uh, we saw here below. So let's dive into the back end of the platform so that we see what you would normally find when you log in. So as soon as we log in, it welcomes us and it asks us what we want to learn today. And as you guys can see here, the first part of this, especially that I think stands out to me is these personalized learning paths that they have uh, developed over here. So you can see they have 22 personalized learning paths, starting with data, data engineering, Windows Server 2016 management, Windows Server for hybrid Red Cloud, ONTAP 9, we have NetApp Platform OS, Azure Developer, Azure Administrator, Azure Solutions Architect, and as we can see, the list kind of goes on here. So they have a lot of great learning paths developed for you guys. As well here, we have the Learning Library, which has over 1,200 entries in here. And this ranges from everything from, you know, Cisco, Microsoft, CompTIA, and really that list goes on as well because there is a lot of content here for you guys to really sink your teeth into. And they offer self-paced learning. They offer virtual labs. They offer virtualized classrooms. And it really... That is big for anybody who is trying to uh, learn a new technology. If you want to do a virtual classroom, it's much like you would find in any type of virtual classroom setting. This gives you a few days to go through their material over there, just like you would in any other type of virtual classroom setting. And it really kind of gives you all that information, really you know, pumping it into you so you guys can understand it, much like you would find almost in a boot camp, for instance. But with the self-paced learning, that is one of my personal favorites because you know I might not have the time to sit down uh, for two days and go through some of these courses, but if I do it at my own pace, well, then I can take all the time that I need, right? So the self-paced learning is really something that stuck out for me because I might not always have time to sit down for two days straight and go through material, but I might have a couple weeks to go through this material. Now they also have informal learning, which has over 13,000 entries in it. And with this informal learning, it's teaching you about other technologies and skills that you would need in, in any ordinary business environment. So it's not necessarily breaking it down by certification. It's really kind of diving deeper into specific technologies. So as you guys can see here, we have PowerPoint, we have JavaScript, we have things with uh, GitHub, we have um, more on PowerPoint here, Agile. Really, the list goes on here. There's, there's a lot of great material that they have here so you guys can start understanding and learning new technologies. So you guys have a lot of possibilities here. So let's look at one of these courses though so you can kind of understand what it looks like. 
We're gonna go ahead and click on the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. As you guys can see here, when we open up this pane, we have our core learning, starting with the introduction to Microsoft Azure IT Professionals. Now we have two courses here. We have our self-paced one, and we also have a virtual classroom. And then we have our first look clinic, Microsoft Azure MOC On Demand. So if we go ahead and click on this one for the virtual classroom. So as you guys can see here, we have our next upcoming dates for this virtual classroom, which is December 2nd and December 3rd. And then if we click on course details, it's gonna give us more information on exactly what it is that we will be experiencing within this class. So if we click on our course outline, it's gonna break down you know, the things that we're gonna find within this virtual classroom. So there's a lot of material to go over here, and I think they've done a really great job of putting it all together. Now, one of the other things that Quick Start offers is practice exams, which is huge. Practice exams are so extremely important. As you guys are learning this new material, make sure you guys take time to go through a practice exam every couple of days, maybe every couple of weeks, depending on how quickly you are moving through this learning material. And of course, if you're having trouble with something in these practice exams, make sure you go back over that learning material and start studying that stuff a little bit harder so that you can pass these practice exams because once you've passed the practice exams a couple of times you should be prepared to take the real thing so if we go ahead and click on start course for this practice exam it's going to go ahead and open up their uh, course player and we can go ahead and click on begin practice exam and then right there it starts walking you through the questions that you would find on this exam or very similar questions that you would find on this exam so really cool that they offer practice exams over there they also offer virtual labs as well so there's a lot of material over here for you guys to learn and understand so if you guys want to check out quick start make sure you guys check out the link in the description below they were kind enough to sponsor this video if you guys have any other comments questions concerns hit me up in the comments below i love hearing from you guys that's all we got for today's video as always Take it easy.